In this work, we present a new technique for photorealistic view synthesis. Given a sparse set of input views, our method uses the recently introduced learned gradient descent to generate a multiplane image. A multiplane image, or MPI, is a representation of a scene that allows real-time rendering to new viewpoints with standard graphics hardware. MPIs are a powerful representation that can model complex appearance effects including transparency, reflections, and even volumetric effects, as shown here. An MPI consists of a set of planes, each with an associated RGBA texture map. The planes are positioned at equally spaced inverse depths with respect to a virtual reference camera. To render an MPI to an image at a new viewpoint, we first warp the MPI images and then composite them using standard alpha blending. But how do we create an MPI from a set of input images? Well, one approach is to use a standard feedforward deep network to predict the MPI. In these methods, the images are typically input as plane sweep volumes, allowing the network to more efficiently combine input images at different poses. Such approaches rely on network layers to model the visibility between the input views and the predicted MPI, which can be expensive. For example, in this toy scene, the green square and yellow triangle in the front occlude the pink shape at the back in some of the input views. In order for a network to correctly reconstruct the pink shape, the front and back MPI layers would need to communicate, implying a very large receptive field and hence expensive network. Another possible approach to generating an MPI is to model it as an inverse problem and iteratively optimize its parameters with standard gradient descent. The gradients are computed from the difference between the input images and the images rendered from the MPI. By starting from an initial MPI and iteratively improving it, such an approach intrinsically models visibility between the MPI and the input images. However, this approach is very slow, requiring many iterations before convergence, and, given a limited set of input views, simple optimization will lead to overfitting, as seen here. Our method instead uses the recently introduced learned gradient descent. This technique combines the best features of the two ideas I just mentioned, deep learning and direct optimization. Now, traditional deep learning relies on optimization only during training to find the network weights. However, learned gradient descent models inverse problems such as MPI generation as unrolled optimizations at inference time. This is achieved by replacing the simple gradient descent update rule with a CNN. The idea is that a CNN can learn to take larger steps than the standard gradient descent update rule, as well as reduce overfitting by constraining the generated model, in our case the MPI, to lie on the manifold of plausible scenes. We can stack these gradient computation and update blocks repeatedly, creating a form of recurrent network. We train the complete unrolled network by rendering the generated MPI to a held out view. For our particular problem, we can also replace the initial update block with a simple per plane CNN that operates on the plane sweep volumes of the input images, removing the need for an initial MPI estimate. Here we show a rendering from the MPI at each iteration. There is a significant improvement between the first and second iterations. However, improvements in later iterations are more subtle. Showing the network makes large improvements at each iteration, requiring only a few steps. In our paper, we showed that the gradients provided to the CNN have an intuitive interpretation in terms of visibility cues. Effectively, the first iteration solves for unoccluded surfaces, while later iterations use this visibility to find a better solution in occluded regions. Next, we show results. Our method correctly reconstructs complex geometry, such as the trees and thin structures seen here, as well as the semi-transparent surfaces here. And the reflections shown here. Here we false colored the MPI planes, creating a pseudo depth map. Note in this scene how the reflection on the metallic table is placed on a far MBI plane. We are also introducing a new dataset, Spaces, consisting of 100 scenes captured with our custom-built 16-camera array.